My previous video was characteristics associated with cults, and the material was directly lifted from, repeated from, and linked to cultresearch.org and their list of characteristics associated with cults. The third on their list, as far as traits, criteria, whichever term you prefer, characteristics, was mind-altering practices that are used in excess to suppress doubts about the group and its leaders. Now, I mentioned what they had in brackets, because it actually says mind-altering practices such as meditation, chanting, speaking in tongues, denunciation sessions, or debilitating work routines. The fundamental point, of course, is a thing that someone missed, and it's understandable you might, um, are used in excess. Not merely is it a question of, you're a Pentecostalist, you go to church once a week, you might speak in tongues. It also isn't a question of you being perhaps a Buddhist, or some other Eastern belief, where chanting is not uncommon, and you chant, say, when you go to a particular temple, or meeting, or group, and you do that perhaps once a week, or once a fortnight, or whatever the case may be. Nor is it a question of simply meditation. Meditation, you practice it at home, in your own way, or you develop in a particular way to try and develop your skill. Instead, it's a question of in excess. More than would be required, associated with a group, and it's to do with pushing ideology through the practices. Now, obviously, in conjunction with a variety of practices, not merely a question of, hey, do you chant, or do you meditate, or do you even speak in tongues, which I admit is a more culty practice on average, but also various other methods, or what you might even consider to be the manner of speaking therapies, for thought reform, to basically make you suppress your doubts about a group and its leader or leaders. But in any case, it's a question of the ideology and the use of those practices within the ideology not simply the nitpicking of meditation as being bad, which I don't think it is in and of itself, but when used in excess, it can be a potentially harmful tool. Because you're putting yourself into an altered state of mind as part of a manipulation practice. The meditation is simply part of it. It's not to say that all meditation is bad. That would be a complete misunderstanding of the point. I've been swimming in raw sewage. It's absolutely absurd.